of the MCU and DCEU, but probably the Spider-Verse that Sony is slowly creating has not gotten as much attention. So here I'm going to do a bit of a short speculation video. Now, it's been made pretty clear that they're going to play with the multiverse in some upcoming Spider-Man projects, and it's rumored that even uh, Tobey Maguire is going to be coming back, uh, perhaps no more than a cameo role, but he is returning. So, what can we think is going on? Well, there's two things, of course, occurring. There's the MCU proper, and then there's basically the Sony-verse. Now, if they have the multiverse, then they can do several things. They can bring in past actors from the past Spider-Man films. So, for instance, Spider-Man has already fought Doc Ock, so he can be brought back in. Now, this works in some ways and does not work in other ways. For instance, the Hobgoblin came after the Green Goblin, but they haven't really set him up, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. But I think the big idea clearly is to set up the Sinister Six. For those completely new, the Sinister Six were a group of villains that teamed up against Spider-Man. The original lineup actually included Kraven the Hunter, but he died. The more modern version replaced him with the Hobgoblin, and it had Mysterio, the Vulture, Doc Ock, and a couple of other people, including Sandman. Now, again, given what's happened to the past Spider-Man films, it's not clear how they could construct the team, but again, it's the multiverse, so it doesn't have to be the exact version that we know Spider-Man faced. So, for instance, the Sandman we know ironically that's very close to comics kind of reformed himself but they could be taking a version which is much more villainous also we have some things already set up like with the vulture now obviously with events that happened recently with spider-man it's not clear how mysterio would work but again if it is a multiverse they could just bring back a certain version of mysterio and not necessarily the jake gyllenhaal version so it's pretty clear they're kind of setting up a big confrontation between Spider-Man and the Sinister Six and doing some of the stories from there. I'm, I got to say I'm a little mixed because I don't know the early Sinister Six stories, but I actually know the middling stories. I actually, those were some of the first books I read. Those were very well done and very excellent. However, when they can try to continue the Sinister Six storyline, I think they sort of faltered. So I'm a little mixed if they are going to go down the path of Spider-Man versus the Sinister Six. It's going to be as great or grandiose as they're making it out to be. It could be just done fine, and given that we have Morbius and others, they're probably going to set up a kind of counter team as well, right? A Spider-Man equivalent. All right, so this has been uh, covering what's upcoming for Spider-Man and the Sony-verse. If you like the content, please hit the like button and or subscribe. Please comment below. I'm going to very soon start a Patreon account, so if you want to support the channel through that at any level, that'll be very greatly appreciated. Okay, this has been Pop Cult Analyzed on the upcoming Shape of the Spider-Verse.